Guys, when will the madness end? When will all these frivolous lawsuits finally stop happening? When are we going to stop allowing people from suing everybody for practically no reason? It has just gotten ridiculous. I was reading this story here on CNN.com just a second ago, and there is a woman in Florida that is suing the Kraft Heinz Food Company because she bought one of these microwavable cups of mac and cheese, right? These Kraft Velveeta mac and cheese bowls. And on the packaging, it says, will be done in three and a half minutes, right? Takes three and a half minutes. And she says no, because uh, I look at the uh, the package, and yes, it says cook in the microwave for three and a half minutes, but it also has other instructions, such as opening the lid, filling the bowl with water, you know, adding the packet of seasoning or whatever. And then, of course, you don't want to uh, just microwave it for three and a half minutes and then immediately eat it. You got to wait a little bit of time for it to cool off, right? Because it's going to be super heated in the microwave. So she's suing Kraft for $5 million for false advertising. <laughs> and I just, I, these things always make me laugh because most of the time, these lawsuits, they go nowhere. They get thrown out of court. Occasionally, though, some ridiculous jurisdiction somewhere, some judge will actually award these people money because, I mean, we had the famous case many years ago, probably like 20 years ago now, where someone, of course, filed a lawsuit against McDonald's because they spilled a, a cup of coffee on them that they bought at McDonald's and they burned themselves really badly, right? And they sued McDonald's because their coffee was hot. Now, I don't know about you guys, but typically when I buy a cup of coffee from anywhere, I expect it to be hot. Coffee just naturally is hot. It should always be hot. I never buy a cup of coffee and think, oh, I hope it's not cold. <laughs> You're always thinking that's a hot cup of coffee. And of course, people have sued other places for false advertising. You go into these fast food restaurants like these burger joints and you look at the menu and the burger on the menu just looks big, fat, juicy, and delicious, and then they serve you just this really sad, thin, pathetic-looking hamburger, right? And yeah, I admit, sometimes that makes me mad, but I'm not going to sue somebody because the picture looks a little different than the actual product. I mean, we've had people sue, you know, sandwich shops like Subway because, you know, the six-inch sub wasn't exactly six, six inches. The 12-inch wasn't exactly 12 inches, you know, things like that. And again, it's just ridiculous because once we start going down this road, we could sue anybody for practically anything. I mean, literally, we could sue anybody for anything. Think about, well, think about Linux since this is mostly a Linux channel. Hell, I could sue Debian right now for claiming that Debian is stable. I've broken Debian many times, right? I've had many installations of Debian that I broke, but you know, they label it as stable. Well, I've got real world proof that it's not. You know, I, I deserve a few million dollars, Debian, right? Same thing with Ubuntu. I mean, I could sue Ubuntu for false advertising because when I install Firefox using the apt package manager in the terminal, it actually installs it as a snap, right? It's a shim that actually installs it from Snapcraft rather than using the apt package manager. So they're lying to me. They're misleading me. And I think I deserve a little money for that. So it really is a sick and corrupt, twisted world we live in. This litigious world where we just sue everybody for any reason at all. And it's just, it, it, it makes my, my heart hurt a little bit in the way the world is. Because if it gets to the point where I can just sue anybody, the local sandwich shop, because their 12-inch sub was only 11 and 3 quarters inches, well, hell, think about how many personal lawsuits, you know, personal injury lawsuits and civil lawsuits would be filed. But think about all the women in the world that would sue us men because of, we made some false statements about size, you know, similar to the sandwich shop, right? We'd all be in trouble. And at that point, hell, I almost wish, you know, women would start suing us like that because I think, I think we need that kind of major kind of action. I, I think this needs to go far enough to where laws start changing because right now, it's it's not enough in the public eye. It needs to get to the point where pretty much everybody is affected by this. Because right now, you know, billion dollar companies like Kraft, who cares? Billion dollar companies like McDonald's, who cares? Well, once it starts affecting just normal, regular people like you and me, maybe the world will change. Peace, guys.